Hi folks, Dr. Bob. When you're in my business, I'm an importer. I'm the largest importer of chloral and spirulina in the, in the U.S. Check out all my books on audible.com. When you get into this business, I sell a lot of wholesale. Everybody, everything revolves around these certifications. You got ISO 9001, uh, F, SSC 22000. There's a whole bunch of these things, you know, GMP certification. And most of them are there. So, you know, we can be sure this is a really good product and not just something, uh, you know, that's dirty or it's contaminated or it's not what it says it is. And that's fine. But there are two certifications. No, no one will ever tell you this. I'll be the one to say it because somebody needs to say this just at least once, you know. There's two certifications that really are worthless. They don't do anything for anybody other than put mo money into certain people's pockets. One of them is kosher, the kosher certificate. And the other one is ha halal. Okay, that's Muslim. So halal is for meat. Well, I import, I'm a vegan, <laughs> and I import um, chlorella and spirulina. So why do we have to have halal for meat, for a meat thing? Because you got to have it. Everybody wants it. So, okay, there you go for that one. Kosher, same thing. They don't do anything for to improve the quality of the food. No, you'd need that certificate. It's a racket. So halal and kosher both are a racket. Even if you're Jewish, you know, the kosher laws are you don't put the meat and the dairy together, you don't eat, you know, shellfish, this kind of thing. There's all of these dietary laws. It was really so that we would keep you healthy. What's it doing now? Well, they, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to get this. You're not going to get the certification. They've managed to get in there and make everybody demand this kosher certification. Everybody demand this halal certification. So that's what you get. I mean, you got to you got to go get it. Otherwise, you won't be able to sell your product. And they're worthless. They don't do anything to improve the quality of the food. You're not supposed to say that, but I'm kind of tired of this. And you know, these everybody spends a fortune on these things. You know, you got to fly the guy out there, um, and you got to make sure they are inspected, and you got to pay for his hotel, and then you got to pay them their meals, and then you got to go pick them up and take them back to the airport, and all this kind of nonsense. Let me tell you something. It's just it's a racket. Kosher and halal. They don't do anything to improve any supplement, any food. And if you want those and you want, you're Jewish, you're Muslim, you want those, go, that's fine. I, I'm not, and they don't improve the quality of what I'm doing. So why should we have to get them? Because we need to have them. Because everybody wants these things. And for what? Don't ask too many questions. Dr. Bob, I'll see you next time. We've got four of my books now on Audible. The temple he was referring to was his body. Uh, it's a, honoring your temple through natural health. My best book so far is The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. That's my most comprehensive book. I wrote that one last year. Silver, The Miracle Mineral, The End of Infectious Disease, um, How I Got Meningitis, that's on Audible. My biggest seller for sure, The Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water, The Definitive Guide to the World's Healthiest Substance. I have sold thousands and thousands of those for years.